fly fishing for mullet is described by many as madness. Not only is it very difficult to get a mullet to eat a fly, they have an uncanny ability to throw the hook or pull loose. Nicknamed the British Bonefish, part of this madness is putting in hours, days or years in my case to experience the fight of these dogged fish. So I've come out this morning um, down to the estuary, a bit of a reconnaissance trip. Um, it's the middle of March and don't know what I was expecting really. Um, didn't see any fish, but it's been uh, a long seven months since I caught my first mullet. And in that time, it's been difficult not to sort of think about getting back out on the estuary, but the conditions need to be right and they're not yet. At the time I post this video, it would have been a year since I caught my first mullet. So I'm at my favourite mullet spot because it's the only place I've actually ever caught one. <laughs> Um, there is a stiff north wind that's just started blowing and it's pretty cold and I'm, I've not seen any decent sized mullet today and I'm wondering whether we need a bit of warmer weather to sort of get them going because it's been sort of wet and windy the last sort of week or so today's one of the first decent days but yeah it's not looking hopeful Okay, so trying a different mark today. Yeah, couldn't get the best, I say get the best tide. I'm not gonna be here for much of the flood. It's kind of gonna be around low, basically, sort of slack water. So maybe I might see one or two, I'm hoping I will. At the moment, I'm just kind of observing uh, where the water meets the shore uh, in the hope that I see a few splashing around. So I'm fishing uh, flexi worm flies static under an indicator. The mullet often feed close to the shoreline um, in just inches of water. And if you can get your fly in amongst the feeding group of fish, you're in with a chance. So just uh, one confirmed mullet sighting, which is good. Um, I guess it's better than the last time. And I saw, you know, what looked like fish activity, ripples on the surface, that kind of thing. But it's low tide now. I'm just going to move across to the other side because um, I want to go and investigate another spot so yeah maybe there'll be some uh, some more fish activity maybe it'll just be a recce but we'll go see that was a pretty mad 45 minutes or so um, I think they were probably thick um, and they were feeding on the top in quite deep water which never gives me any confidence. Um, I find that when they're in deep water it's difficult to know if they're actually feeding even though they're sort of like tailing and splashing around. It sort of almost seems like more like they're playing to me. <coughs> but I had a chuck, had a try, um, even resorted to a bread fly. Um, but no joy. Uh, I'm going to just wander back, uh, sort of out of the harbour, and um, I don't know, see if I find anything, but that, that might be it for today. Thank you. 
right, so I had that tiny little bass under the bridge, saw a mullet down there and saw several fish uh, sort of splashing around um, as they're sort of like going through the really shallow water into the harbour. So annoyingly, got to go now, um, just as things start to get going, but I think definitely gonna try that spot again. Um, even for bass, I think it would be pretty good, but yeah. So, see what happens next time. On my next trip, I was joined by Lewis, who won the multi-species prize at the 2023 Orvis Saltwater Fly Fishing Festival. Watching Lewis uh, was a real catalyst for me with confidence and inspiration to keep going with the mullet. Yes, mate! <laughs> Yes, that is a beauty. No, no, it's still on. Thank you very much. No worries. I'll get on the rock. I'll be all right. It's at least four. Yes, yeah, at least four. It didn't go on any massive runs, did it? It just same as the last big one I had. It didn't doesn't take big runs. Yeah, you sort of expect a thick to really go through, yeah. wouldn't you? I've never, I haven't had that. Apart from that one that I lost, it just flat rodded me. That's a lovely, lovely fish. After his glorious catch, Lewis kindly handed me his rod, and with newfound confidence, I gave it a go myself. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, so I've just got back to the car and realised that I haven't really talked to the camera much this morning. Um, so it's a new day. Um, it's about a week since I was out with Lewis. It is a week actually, exactly. And yeah, conditions have been spot on. Plenty of mullet around. So I've been chasing them up and down for about four hours and I'll let you see what happens. First one um, just pinged off, um, which was really painful because it was, looked like a decent sized fish as well. But yeah, you know, that's my like fishing. And then get into another one. And this one goes straight into the weeds and drops the hook. So that's a bugger. At this point, I'm about, about ready to give up, but really wanted to catch one, really wanted to finish this video with a fish. So I carried on and there's a bit of a twist. My GoPro crashed, so there's no footage of this, uh, but while trying to catch the mullet, I hook into a bass and it tears off um, my reel. It's just a click pull old rim fly, 
screaming this fish I'm, I'm assuming it's a big mullet and I'm like can't keep it under control it's taking line taking line but it stays hooked get it back and then gets about 10 foot from the shore and I'm like it's a bass so I was a bit like oh man but turns out it was my PB bass 50 centimeters well that didn't go exactly how I'd expect it Stonker of a bass. Gonna give it a quick measure. Alright. That right there is my first 50 centimetre bass. Pretty much on the nose. Beautiful fish. So my new PB bass on the flexi map. That's a nice fish. Really gutted that I don't think the camera was on for that because that thing gave a really good account for itself on the six weight. But yeah, two mullet lost, one new PB bass. Not sure when the uh, the mullet are going to come, but I think I'm going to leave it at that for this one. So yeah, tight lines. I'll see you in the next one.